And welcome back to the Now Morning Show. The Gender and Child Affairs Division and the National AIDS Coordinating Committee have joined forces this carnival to campaign for change. Let's learn more this morning on Spotlight. Welcome back inside the Null Morning Show. This morning, we are talking carnival safety. I have with me Rosanna Cardenas, Child Development Specialist uh, in the Child Affairs Division, Richie Bansraj, Gender Training Officer of the Gender Affairs Division, and Yolanda Simon, Vice Chairman of the National AIDS Coordinating Committee. Good morning to you and welcome to the Null Morning Show. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let me start with you, uh, Ms. Simon. I think I'll start with you. Tell me why we have a carnival campaign in the first place. What does NACC hope to achieve with this carnival campaign? Well, why not a carnival campaign? I mean, we know what carnival brings to the country. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a time of revelry, merriment, good times, gay abandonment. And I use that word guardedly because, you know... Because we're in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand. But, you know, it's, it's a time for fun. Mm -hmm. um, and whilst we want people to have fun, but we want people to have fun responsibly and safely. So apart from that, I mean, and we're going to get into some of the things we're going to talk mm -hmm. about. But essentially, that is it. We want just to remind people, yes, it's carnival, but there's life after the festival, you know, and we don't want nine months down the road for too many new lives to be fluttering around. You so, don't want more lives? Or you don't, you don't want people to do it irresponsibly? Correct. You see, you, you're already on target. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. You're already on target, Rockers. <laughs> <laughs> I say, let me just make sure we're on the same page. We are. I, I we think are that, indeed. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very important message. But um, all right. So Carnival, we know we have an influx of, of people. But yeah. we also have a lot of people that mix and mingle in the country. Yeah. Yeah. So we want everybody to be as safe as possible. Yeah. Uh, shall we start with the adults or the children? Let's start with the children. Let's start with the Let's start with the children. Let's start with the children. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the key messages that we need to make sure children have as we get into this carnival season? Well, this year in particular, we want persons to play their part mm. and to be a hero and to get child abuse down to zero. One of the key things that we want persons to remember this carnival is the safety of children. Right. So in your planning, in your organizing to go to your parties and your fets, um, please make sure that you make appropriate arrangements for children. Mm -hmm. So we want to highlight the acronym SAFETY, which provides some tips for parents and for adults when considering children. The S is for supervision. Make sure that you have sufficient supervision for your children. A, know how children, let children know how to act in the event of an emergency. Mm -hmm. So that's like ensuring they know hotline numbers, like the police at 999, or even the Children's Authority at 996, or even knowing their parents' phone numbers to call, or an auntie or a nene to call in the case of an emergency. Mm -hmm. The F is for focusing on a healthy and a balanced diet, because, you know, sometimes with all of the festivities and revelry, we forget that, you know, we need to actually leave some food to for the children. The children. Yes, People we need to feed the children. Sometimes, you know, Jesus because we always think, well, they have things home, they could figure things out yeah. for themselves. But all of these things are part of the safety considerations. Okay. Um, and the E is for educating and encouraging the children to know the hotline numbers. Um, T is for touch. You know, in the past, we'd always, you'd always hear about good touch and bad touch. Yeah. But now we want to encourage persons to be aware and teach their children what is an okay touch and a not okay touch. Because the reality is, the way our body, how our bodies is made up of, even if someone is touching a child inappropriately, it may feel good. So we need to ensure that our children know what is okay mm -hmm. and what is not okay. And why we are encouraging adults to know that you are important to your child. So it's important to listen to them, to have conversations with them, mm -hmm. and to believe them if they ever make reports of abuse. So safety is the acronym. It's a little extensive, <laughs> but we want you to play your part mm -hmm. and to be a hero. Let's get child abuse down to zero. I feel like I love, I love that tagline. Be a hero, get child abuse down to zero. Richie, let me bring you into the conversation mm -hmm. here because mm -hmm. I, I'm really curious as to what are some of the, the gender issues that come up, especially around carnival time. So with the use of alcohol, you have a lot of, it acts as a catalyst into gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. Now, women, or girls, and the children play victim, are victim in these circumstances when they use the alcohol and abuse the alcohol. So what we want to do is raise awareness of gender-based violence that takes place in the various 
various forms, physical, emotional, sexual, all of these um, variations of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that I know Child Affairs was talking about the um, pay attention to your child, but also pay attention to your significant other, because what may happen is that you leave to go to a fet, you leave a significant other home, and you're creating this structure of rigidity and a strict structure where your significant other, be it a, a male or a female, you have to stay home. You can have fet with me. I had to go my fet, and then when you come home, alcohol consumption, abuse, in various forms of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. So we want to try to raise awareness to make sure that this is reduced and uh, that people don't take advantage of all of the ills that may come with the alcohol abuse. But tell me, how do we, how do we reduce that? Like, what, what do you suggest? I mean, the, the situation that you called there was very, very specific. Yes, if it very is, specific. There are people who say, you go your way, I yeah. go, go my way, and then we go bounce back up later. Yeah. Um, that's a carnival mentality, for lack mm. of a better phrase, right? Yeah. But how do we, how do we Work on that. Pay attention to your people around you. So in every in Trinidad is a very close knit community. Is everyone knows each other. We live on an island. We live on an island. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows each other. So you pay attention to your neighbor. You pay attention to your close family, mm -hmm. and you see how they're dealing with the family dynamics when it comes to the carnival season. It's a totally different uh, environment, and you need to pay attention to the children. You need to pay attention to also your relationships with other p persons. So I would just advise, just pay attention. You see something, pay attention, say something. And it has 800 save, which is one of the contact numbers, mm -hmm. the domestic violence hotline. All right, so Ms. Simon, let me bring you back into mm. the conversation here because, of course, we want to change the, the way people think and approach mm -hmm. uh, their behavior for the carnival, is what we're trying to do, yeah? Mm -hmm. How do we hope to achieve that? Oh, first of all, I would say, you know, uh, there's no magic bullet mm -hmm. and, and people will change when they want to change. So we could do... Well, what, what are some of the changes that we want to see? Well, what we want to see is we want to hype the awareness. We want people to think. Um, we, we've been in Carnival, all of us have participated in Carnival in some form or the other. But we just want people to just pause for a minute and say, you know, I'm going to the North Stand, yes, I, you know, I'm going to consume... X amount of alcohol instead of mm -hmm. consuming the whole bottle, the whole bottle of JW. Have a glass, right. share it. No, you know, have a designated driver. You know, we like with JW. You know, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> is that Trinity? I understand. Yeah, I you know, understand. But but be aware, uh, be wise, because mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know, carnival. It's just kind of. I, it's, it's almost like a malady carnival sometimes, but we just want people to step back and remember they have choices. Remember, as I said before, there's life after carnival. Remember too, as my colleagues are saying, about the children, about your significant other. Uh, remember the, about your life. And when, when, I, when we're here standing today talking about this, this is not like a one-off thing because it's not like we're gonna be here next carnival mm -hmm. and doing this. But this is, this is kind of the prelude to a longer campaign. Because, Tell me more. Because there is, there is life after carnival, as I mm -hmm. said, and the campaign continues. For example, at the level of the National Aids Coordinating Committee, we are currently finalizing two excellent documents, the National Strategic Plan, five-year strategic plan for Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. and the National Policy on HIV and AIDS for Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And between those two policy documents, we know, we are not even hopeful because we've been doing this a long time, we know it's going to guide us in the direction that we want to go. Um, people, everybody knows about HIV and AIDS. My five-year-old niece can tell you how you get HIV, how you don't get HIV. Mm -hmm. But but what, what we need to understand is that HIV is not only the responsibility of the agencies, of, and I say agencies, I didn't, I didn't say the Ministry of Health, of course. agencies, yeah. but it's all our responsibilities. Mm -hmm. All of us have a role to play. And if we, if, we, if we understand that and we move from that, that position, we're gonna see some changes down the road. And I, I ask you all to look out for these documents, they're coming out. Look out for the members of the NACC, you got to see them. And whilst we are coordinating mechanism, we have lots of partners on the ground, both regionally, bilateral, but here to do the work because our goal is to, the global goal is to end AIDS as we know it by 2030. And we are on, we are on course to do just that.
end the AIDS as we know it? As we know it, by 2030. Does that mean end it, end it, or like just end it the way we know it and have a different version, like COVID, you know, end AIDS changing all as the time? we know it. Well, so, so the idea is okay. So the idea is just to give you a little flavor. Yeah. One of the one of the strategies is called the 95 95 95, mm -hmm. which is 95 percent of persons getting tested, 95 percent of them who are tested are on treatment, mm -hmm. and 95 percent of those are undetectable. Okay. Now, when we get to 2020, those are undetectable. That is how we know we can end AIDS because. You, you know, we're going to have to have a longer conversation because you, you don't want to take <laughs> nobody, this up because you versus you equals you, yeah, which nobody. is undetectable means... Right. Untransmittable. Untransmittable as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so that, I know that's important because I think people, people oftentimes hear about the documents, they hear about the documents and the yeah. plans and the plans, but they don't oftentimes get into the details of the documents yeah. because a lot of yeah. people don't care for it. They don't care to sit down and read a whole document about yeah. it. Yeah. Right. They would look at the poster, mm. they would yeah. get that information, <laughs> yeah. but they wouldn't sit down and look at the documents that you're working so hard on. Yeah. And, you know, I want to make sure that we get some of that information yeah. out there as well. But let, let's go back to child safety yeah. for a little bit. Sure. Um, because you mentioned, well, you mentioned the acronym safety, of yes. course. But I wanted to touch a little bit on on abuse, because you mentioned abuse, Richie, when mm -hmm. it comes to adults, but of course we have abuse when it comes to children happening yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. um, how do we identify if we see a child, I mean, we, we're out, we have Kiddies Carnival coming up this weekend, mm -hmm. um, you have the parade of the bands and all that stuff. If you see a child that seems to be in danger, how do we identify mm -hmm. whether or not they might be in a, an abusive situation that you need to help? Well, I'm so glad you asked that question. You know, just this morning I was remembering the show Men in Black and when the agent came and he was doing his um, training, they, gave, they put him in a room and asked him to, you know, to shoot it's down. Black one. Yeah, 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 the very yeah. first yeah, one, yeah, to yeah. shoot down the odd things. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's the kind of um, level of vigilance we want persons to see. Look at your environment. What are the odd things standing out? If a, is a child in an environment that they should not mm. be there, you know? And I know it's humorous, no, but, but I, I really love that want... as a perfect, as a perfect yeah, example. Yeah, because I love it. there are situations yeah. where children are supposed to be, and we all know it, and there are some environments that are not appropriate for children. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to even looking at perpetrators, it's important to remember the, the data suggests that the average abuser is someone that the child knows so it's not necessarily the stranger in a trench coat like when we were growing yeah, up as the, the image <laughs> you understand <laughs> um, it's someone you know it's uncle it's auntie mm -hmm. it's the neighbor it's someone yeah. within their religious community yeah. unfortunately it's it's very often someone yeah. they know and so for for parents and for adults it's important to get to know the people your child is interacting with and so for children, you want to look out for children who may be looking disheveled, they may have bruises or marks on their on their body, um, they may be begging, searching for arms, etc. And what do we do in that situation? Who do we call? In that situation, you can call the police hotline at 999 mm -hmm. or you can call the Trans Authority at 996. And for children, you also can call those hotline numbers. It's absolutely free. Or you can call Chiline or any other NGO at 131 to get assistance. Nice. Richie, before we go, you mentioned uh, a lot of the abusive situations that people can end up in uh, when it comes to carnival time, when it comes to how we party, how we do things. And you ask us to look out for each other. If we see something, who do we say something to? Well, there's the line, the hotline, which is 800-SAVE. And also, you, you could call the police as well, but you want to really just have that network of persons that you could rely on. I don't want to rely on, because some people may see the hotline and be like, I don't want to take that step. Yeah. I do not want to, to have to talk to, to some stranger. So yeah. To talk to some stranger. So be close with people and just observe behaviors as best as you could because it has it has slight changes in behavior when someone is going through a domestic violence. You may see physical scars. You may see um, they're speaking differently. Mm -hmm. They're trying to give you subtle hints. So all of these things, as your as your neighbor, you have to observe these things as, with these abusive situations, these little hints. But I would still, as a representative of the Gender Affairs Division, 800 save S-A-V-E. Nice. <laughs> well, Rosanna, Richie, Yolanda, thank you guys so very much for coming on this morning and sharing this bit of information. Uh, time flies when we're having fun. Yeah. Oh, good conversation as it, <laughs> it was is. Great. Um, but thank you very much, and I wish you a happy and safe carnival. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Same to you. Guys, we take thank a quick break, and we come back with more Inside the Now Morning Show. When we come back, we're talking fans, so stick around.